a woodworker who works with their hands relies on a number of tool saws to help them get the job done. Choosing the right tool saws for the job can help it get done in the quickest amount of time. This will ensure a happy customer and more time to do more work. So, let's go. Number 1. Coping Saw. A coping saw is a bone saw with a D-shaped frame and a thin blade with fine teeth. The saw is very flexible and strong. You can cut through both wood and soft metal. It gives you the opportunity to exchange the blade easily, making it a great saw for a large range of projects. It is often used to cut moldings and coke joints. It can even be used to etch details into materials. Number 2. Backsaw. A backsaw is a handsaw with a reinforced short, narrow blade. It provides a thin, straight cut. It also has a reinforced backing on the opposite end of the blade to help the user make the best cut. It is often used in making cabinets. A backsaw is called so because it is reinforced on the back, providing extra leverage. Number 3. Fret Saw. The fret saw is a bow saw with an extremely long C-shape to it, making it great for making deep and intricate cuts. It is the choice over a coping saw when the cut is complicated. It has extra fine teeth and up to 32 teeth per inch. The long frame with the short blade makes it look a little unusual, it definitely stands out. Number 4. Folding Saw. A folding saw is a saw with a blade with one side of the teeth. It has the ability to fold into itself for easy transportation, similar to a Swiss Army knife. It's extremely small. You may be able to carry it in your pocket. Use it to help survive in the woods in the case of an emergency. It's also very useful during camping to help create shelter or cut through rope and bone. Number 5. Rip Cut Saw. The rip cut saw is the most common saw available. It will sometimes be referred to in general terms as simply a hand saw. It's used for a lot of framing jobs. The teeth on the blade are particularly sharp. The saw comes in a wide variety of sizes for a wide variety of needs. Number 6. Hacksaw. A hacksaw uses a C-frame to provide support. There are up to 32 teeth in the blade. Use a hacksaw for just about anything, including wood, plastic, and metal. Aluminum, however, can be problematic. If you do cut aluminum, be sure to clean it properly to avoid material gumming up on the teeth. Number 7. Pruning Saw. Pruning saws have a curved blade up to 13.15 long. The blade is specifically designed to cut small branches. The length allows landscapers and arborists a good reach. The curve helps them wrap around the plant they are trimming. 